With Beth Rousseau live in South Tampa with the preparations that are underway there. Beth. Hey, good morning. Prep clearly has happened throughout these neighborhoods in South Tampa. Some people have their sandbags out. Other people have their windows boarded up. As we walk along here, though, just notice there is still some debris on the side of the road. Families tell us that they had to drop cleanup from Hurricane Helene so that they could prep for Hurricane Milton so that they were ready to evacuate. Now, evacuation orders are under, in place for hundreds of thousands of people here in Hillsborough County. Zones A and B, they are under mandatory evacuation orders along with manufacturing and mobile homes over at McDill Air Force Base not far from here commanders there say that all personnel living in low-lying areas they need to evacuate now as these folks prep so they can leave they're facing large crowds at hardware stores as they try to get plywood gas cans as well as generators and then once their prep work is done and they start to leave they have to deal with long lines stretching down streets wrapping around the block at gas stations if they can find one where fuel is available overall families tell us that they are just overwhelmed to be doing this less than two weeks after Hurricane Helene. We have a house over on North Dundee Street and we lost all of it. Um, the water came up five feet around the outside and four foot inside. Another one's here, more are coming, and they seem to be getting worse. Families here in South Tampa hoping that these branches, limbs, and the debris on the side of the road will be picked up before they start seeing the impacts of this storm. We are expecting to see more boards going up over windows today, as well as sandbags throughout Hillsborough County. There are multiple sandbag sites open here in Hillsborough, as well as throughout our area. Stacey De Silva is at one in Polk County. Stacey Long lines there yesterday.